Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been like a few weeks since I've actually filmed anything um, but I just wanted to do a flip of my um, May pages in my B6 Stylogy. Um, I am actually just exclusively using this cover, this clear vinyl cover from um, Lauren Phelps Designs. Um, just because I like that obviously I can put my own like vinyls, my own covers, my own like papers or decorative stuff um, in there and I can change it as often as I want and I love all the pockets um, and I don't know I just didn't really fancy the extra bulk of um, putting this in my Molden or my Motum. I just really love the simplicity of having um, yeah just this planner as it is um so i haven't used a cover in quite a few weeks now and i'm really really enjoying just using this so um I just have like my usual stuff at the front um tab tapes um all this stuff you guys have probably already seen in my setup video so i will just flip through it quickly um I do get asked a lot how I hang like charms off my Stylogy so I basically just put them on like this teardrop clip and then put them on here um but you could just like take the thread or you know whatever you've got there and put like a piece of washi tape on acetate or vellum or even just a page if you didn't have something to hook it onto. Um, it's obviously not as secure, but there's definitely another way you can do that. Um, if you have any questions about where any of this stuff is from, please just look at the um, setup video that I did. Um, I will link that below because I do go through where, you know, pretty much everything is from in there. Um, so my word of the month was Thrive. Um, yeah, I don't think... I lived up to that. Um, quiet monthly as usual because we're still on um, lockdown. My memory keeping. So these are from Printable Kate. Um, I do have a code for her for her Etsy shop. Um, if you want to like have a look at her inserts, I will leave um, the code for that and link for that below as well. Um, but yeah, I just use this as like highlight of my day so I can kind of use up the stickers that I've collected over the years and also just get like a sense of what our month looked like. Um, meal keeping and then this is my evening routine. I just printed it on vellum. Um, this is from a paperella story. Um, gratitude or highlight of the day. Um, I'm very proud of myself that I managed to tick everything off this decluttering list for May. Um, I don't think I've managed to do that on any of the previous months, but to be fair, a lot of this stuff wasn't really applicable to me anyway. Um, like I don't wear makeup, so like um, I didn't have any makeup to clear out. We don't eat like out in restaurants and stuff, so I didn't have any takeaway menus to get rid of. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, there was a lot of stuff here that I just from like the beginning of the month was able to tick off anyway. So I had a great start and then I did, um, work my way through it. Um, just another piece of acetate that I printed myself and I made this final like bear as well. Um, and it's just got like mommy bear and then my daughter's my two daughters names um I just thought it was really cute um I would have had my husband's as well but they were already really small to begin with um so I just left it for the, with the three of us um and then I had like my May monthly checklist which again I did really really well on and <laughs> completed I would say pretty much everything um I think there was one or two things that I did this last week which is technically June but um still got everything done so that's great then my homeschool pages um again managed to complete all my kind of goals or um ambitions in our homeschool and then this is just more details about our days 
um, and I found like my stash of these stickers it says currently reading um, I'll have to leave the sticker shop below it's it is a UK shop but I just um, yeah it's a really cute sticker and I thought it's quite nice to um, put our current read aloud on there and it makes it stand out a bit more as well then I just have pages for my husband and daughters like things I you know want to remember about them and then my daily pages um I was doing you know memory keeping because yeah we don't really have much <laughs> else going on um so I just have like a few lists at the top um I was missing my timed kind of daily pages which is how I normally plan um and I do you know I do really like this layout but I just kind of wanted a bit of a change um so yeah it, it was still memory keeping but I it was more just like you know time blocked memory keeping um, and I really really liked that but I think I must have forgotten because I do plan like every day at a time so like on Wednesday evening I'll sit and plan Thursday um, and I must have forgotten that I was doing this new layout um, because I forgot to do the timed dailies here <laughs> Um, but it's fine it's okay like I said it's not really necessary for me to have timed um, dailies at the moment and then that weekend again just like nice opportunity to use up all these stickers um, also because a lot of my stickers I bought when I was using like um, an Erin Condren planner or when I was in a B6 traveler's notebook um, so they are much bigger and they're not necessarily stickers I would use on a day-to-day -day basis like if I'm you know when I'm doing my normal non-lockdown planning if I started using stickers like this big they would take up so much um space on the page um yeah so I've kind of avoided using huge stickers like that um so when I'm doing this memory this kind of memory keeping it's actually a nice opportunity to be able to use up all these stickers but um otherwise i generally s seem to go for like smaller icon stickers when i'm doing um our usual planning um and then i just did have like a massive brain dump list just things i want to get done not necessarily in this month but it's just a running to-do list uh, movies shows things to buy um and that's why i have put like this um bow tab from josephine bow designs um, I will link her shop below. It's just to kind of indicate, you know, that there is something ongoing here that I need to refer back to on a daily basis or every other day, um, just to see if there's anything I can tick off. Um, I will just quickly talk about my tabs because I get asked about them tons. Um, I just explained this one. So I have it on here because I know, you know, this is a really kind of like, just an every everything dump list um I don't really go through this and separate it into like work or homeschool or separate places like that I I'm happy to just have it all in one place and then I can just quickly look through it and if it gets too big like it starts becoming pages and pages I might use like a highlighter to kind of color coordinate you know work one color homeschool another color um but at the moment it, yeah I, I've just left it as it is um so I have that bow for that um then I do use obviously these are um oops tabs from Avery and I have these um labels labels I guess yeah from um the style planner and they are like hollow foiled so I just put them on top of my Avery tabs I don't know if you can see there and the way I use my Avery tabs is they are major things that I want to check even if it's not every day it's at least a few times a week that I want to be referring to these tabs and obviously my bow tabs um so for example this one says Etsy so it's just keeping track of my um which I won't share but like my happy mail making sure you know um 
I'm adding to that and then keeping an eye on when things are coming. Um, I also have like a list of outgoing happy mail that I want to make sure I'm working on and getting out to friends. Um, so that, you know, gets um, a Avery an, an Avery tab because it's something I do want to refer back to. Um, here's another one here which says notes on it. So this is a book that I'm currently reading and I started taking notes on it. Um, so I will just finish off the pages here and then I haven't left more pages um, for these notes. So what I will do is I will just move on to like the next blank page, move this tab here so I know that's something I need, you know, that's where I can go to write my new notes. And I will put um, a Lauren Phelps Designs tab tape on this page um, and I'll yeah, I'll try and keep it to the same colour so that I know that, okay, all the purple tabs are for this book or all the blue tabs are book notes, um, you know, things like that. So I will try and do that, but I'm not that bothered about colour coordinating, to be honest. Um, then I have like one here for work stuff um, that I obviously want to refer back to. And then I have another one here that says personal because it's like hair stuff um hair care and then like i have a one on my june to-do list so my avery tabs are things that i refer to you know more like regularly um and then i use um these tab tapes for um like i said so my notes once i'm done writing in them they will still get a tab so that i know there's something there that i you know other than daily pages there's something there that i want to uh, refer back to if i want to um what else um so here um i was working on a um on so this side is is a homeschool blog that i'm working on so it has a projects tab but this side was just notes for a YouTube video, like I wanted to remember which links to add and which shots to tag, things like that. Um, but I knew that was just a one-off thing, that I wouldn't need to go back and refer to it in June or July. So that just got a um, tab tape tab there. So yeah, basically these the tabs that are on, um, you know, that I use for um, like the washi tabs, they are things I don't need to refer to in the long run. So once I've done with once I'm done with my homeschool blog note, um, blog post writing it, I won't need to tab it. Um, so I will just put like a tab tape on it, um, just to mark that there are some notes there, and I will move the projects note to another page. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, it definitely makes sense to me. I know you know which tabs I want to check every day or which places in my planner I have notes but I don't necessarily, they don't necessarily need to be actioned. Um, then for my monthlies, I use these tabs from the Style Planner. They come in like lots of different colours and schemes. So I have a handful of them and I just, yeah, tab my monthly so that if I wanted to remember, you know, something that happened in May or when some a certain meeting was or a phone call was, month is tabbed. Um, I have my daily tab that I move from day to day. Um, again, every tab with a style planner label on it. Um, and then I have these floating tabs from Planner Life to Love. Um, they were a custom order. So if you go to her shop, you're not going to see them. Um, but you can email her um, and ask for them. And yeah, so I've got like, you know... Uh, my monthly memory keeping one I've got one there I've got one for my homeschool section I've got notes one I think there's like a to-do and a fitness one as well so yeah that's kind of the gist of my tabs um, they do serve a purpose I don't just kind of randomly put tabs everywhere just for the sake of you know having a planner that looks nice um, but yeah I you know it obviously does look really pretty um, but they are definitely functional. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, more notes, sticky notes. I do keep all my sticky notes. Um, I just put them all on one page. And when I feel like the page is kind of filled, I will move on to another page and stick them on there. Uh, just a vinyl I made myself, a quote, some 
paper cardstock um just a picture and some journaling about my daughter um i do print my pictures myself at home um i have a hp nv photo i think it's a 6234 printer um, i absolutely love it it's you know um wireless and the quality is really really beautiful for printing photos vellum acetate um, but they do come out with newer models each time um, but yeah I would say I definitely recommend a HP uh, NV photo so these were just notes like I said um, this this was um, from type A from Alexa for my A6 rings Obviously, I'm not in A6 ring, so I did cut them down and relaminate them so I can actually um, use them in here. I, I have like a, a whole load of them, but at the moment I'm just using this one. This vinyl, it's actually a black vinyl, but um, I wanted this shimmery silver side, so I just made that myself. More sticky notes. Again, another photo that I just printed. I just really loved the colours and yeah watercolour effect uh, another vinyl I made myself um, this is a poem or prayer um, I just really liked it so I printed it and put it that in there something I saw on Instagram I just printed it on vellum um, and then this week I started using um, these daily kind of inserts from coco daisy so they are meant for personal ring size um but i have a whole load of them um i did give like quite a few of them away in happy mail but i kept a f like a couple of each of the color themes um so yeah i kind of felt like i was missing a weekly insert or like a weekly page um i actually didn't want to write my lists on the page anymore because I felt like I was squashing my journaling and stuff like that um so I just thought I will tip this in and I will keep a running to-do list for the week there's not really anything that is day specific that needs to get done these days um and if there is I can just put it on a sticky note on the page but yeah I just wanted to keep my pages the, like the full page for journaling so that I had you know a little bit more space so I just tipped that in um so yeah that day we did have a delivery so I did put you know I put a note of that at the top there but other than that like you know if there's any like um I don't know baking or printing or calls or things that I needed to get done I wasn't putting that on the pages themselves um these like um what do you call them date headers I guess <laughs> um they are just Tomoe not uh, Tomoe Tombow brush markers that I just kind of scribbled and then I stamped on top of um because I did get asked about them and that was the weekend just some notes um some more vellum that i got in happy mail from a friend i just put vinyl on there uh some youtube notes uh this is the homeschool unit study notes that i'm um working on a die cut that um i cut but it didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but I didn't want to waste it, so I kind of just stuck it in here. Um, then I have showed how I like kind of did this. Um, it's basically like a crafting glue that I, you know, I cut myself a stencil and I put glue over it and you let the glue dry overnight until it goes tacky. And then you put like foil on it and put it through your laminating machine. Um, so yeah, I was just experimenting um, using that because I don't have a, my printer is obviously just a normal uh, printer, it's not um, a laser printer so I can't print and foil things. But I just love the way this turned out and I do actually come, like find myself just coming to this page and like because it's got glue on it, it's actually got a little bit of texture 
and yeah I just it's so pretty I in summary I love looking at this and then I did use the same technique to make like a little photo frame and I laminated that and it's got a picture of my daughter um, but it does because it's laminated it does keep like sticking to that so I'm probably gonna have to move that somewhere else and put like another frame um, there that's just like a piece of card um, so I have done several of these um, I worked on one today let me show you quickly in my June pages um, so that's this one so this is actually a stencil that I bought I think it's a Tim Holtz one I bought it from Amazon um, I will have it linked in my Amazon store you basically put the stencil over acetate and you kind of swipe like you use a palette knife to put glue over the acetate then you remove the stencil wash that let this dry and then you put a piece of foil over it put it through your laminating machine and then I just put this final that I made um that says let hope bloom so yeah I've kind of been, just been playing around a lot with um this style of foiling um and I did buy different colored foil as well so I'm sure you'll be seeing that throughout my planner uh more sticky notes this was I think it was a freebie from the style planner um yeah like quarantine style you know um <laughs> cat more coco daisy inserts um this week I thought I might need like two inserts because these ones came ready punched so I just like cut the um holes off and they became obviously a bit narrower so I thought I might need two, but um, yeah, I probably could have done with just one of them. And I was using this for like appointments because uh, we have started our online piano lessons again. And this is this week. So I was doing a timed daily for this week and I just preferred it. I really, really enjoyed doing it that way. And I was able to just, you know, add other stuff on the side as well little like few notes on the end um some days i needed you know <laughs> every bit of space other days it was a bit more quieter um and i'm kind of okay with that i don't really feel the need to fill up every single you know piece of like white space on my planner so i just left it um that was the weekend i think by the end of this week i was just kind of a bit over using stick so many stickers and so I just made a list of what we did or how our day went in yeah <laughs> more sticky notes just um some vellum I printed myself a quote some paper uh car insurance stuff hair care things I wanted to print more sticky notes um, this is another Type A for Alexa A6 daily dashboard. So the, there are actually holes in here. And I was debating whether I should trim it, like cut it off and just use it. But um, I just thought I'll put washi tape on it instead. And I did add this um, vinyl. I think this is from Panda Pig, I want to say. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of using this as a dashboard for sticky notes on my daily pages. So I'm not really sure why it's there. Uh, this is just another piece of vellum. Sorry, I keep getting confused between like vellum and um, vinyl. But yes, vellum that I designed and printed myself. Um, and then... Like I said, by Sunday, I was kind of a bit done using stickers in my planner. So I kept it, you know, really simple. It was just using a time daily, just writing out what we did. Not exactly hour by hour, but kind of like a breakdown of our day. Um, this, I think this is Simply Gilded Washi. Um, I'm not sure because I was gifted it um, in some happy mail. Um, and then I did add a few stickers. It kind of just depends on my mood day to day, to be honest, because I will um, I'm, I'm in and out of my planner all day or like sometimes I don't have time to, you know, work on like my daily page because I'm in my homeschool section. 
so I'll sit down in the evening and then if I'm doing that then generally in the evening I will pull out a few stickers and you know use them um that was Thursday Friday and then the weekend um again a bow tab here for some things um so I've got like this year's we like we follow brave writer curriculum homeschool kind of curriculum and they released their new books for 2020 and 2021 so i just wanted to make a list of ones that i'm interested in for the girls and i know that this is something i'm gonna refer to like throughout the four months that i'm in here so i have put like one of those big bow tabs on there uh yeah this uh vellum I printed myself and I dropped some water on it so it's gone a bit crinkly there but I don't really mind to be honest um this vinyl I made myself as well uh it just says all I need in life is some rain because it at the time <laughs> had just been really really hot and sunny for days and days like weeks honestly on end and I loved the rain I was getting a bit fed up um so anyway i'm happy this week because um well this weekend it has been raining quite a bit this morning uh so yeah just tipped that in um i do have a video on how i tip these in it's just using a bit of clear tape but i will link the video below some fonts i was um I'm actually just going through my fonts and clearing them out, clearing out ones I don't use. So there was just a few in there that I wanted to um, use to make stickers. Some more quotes. Um, then I did my May review. Um, usually I do like what we're listening to, what we're reading, enjoying, you know, stuff like that. But I wasn't really in the headspace to be in my planner a lot when I did this um, but I didn't want to not do it so I kind of just jotted down some notes some highlights of the month um, and I think I kind of covered pretty much you know yeah things that I would have sectioned off maybe you know um, I think I managed to cover it all um, but yeah so that is it that was the last page of May and yeah that's it really uh i hope that was fun uh useful or yeah whatever uh if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them in the section below and i will definitely reply to you um so thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye